Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Hi guys and welcome back to my channel I'm Crystal and this week's video is going to be so much different than yeah, what I ever thought I would upload onto my YouTube channel as you can see from the title of this video I dislocated my knee while I was at a dance class a hip-hop dance class specifically and yes I'm going to explain exactly what happened I am going to try to keep it you know like very direct get to the point fast and quick and all of that and then I'm also going to put in a video to show what happened it's not going to be me but to yeah make it easy to follow and then also some pictures and yeah just more on what happened because I must say when this happened to me I was like surfing the internet I was trying to get YouTube videos to you know just to see what the recovery period is or what exactly like happens in the knee when you you know dislocate your knee and I couldn't like find a lot I couldn't I just wanted to find one person on the internet that I could see like from the, the date of injury till like when they recovered like I just wanted to see and I couldn't find it so that's one of the reasons why I'm making this video and then also for myself to look back on my progress you know the days when you get a little bit negative and you know then I have this to look back to so I am going to get into this video I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel come on a helicopter Okay, so getting into exactly what happened I went to a hip-hop dance class on the 7th of May at a dance studio where I yeah, am a member anyway so we warmed up and then we started with the dance routine and then the specific one move made me dislocate my knee so I'm going to put in a video I tried to find a video on YouTube just to show exactly the move what I did so I'm going to show it up here it's the part where he bends his knees like inwards so he does it like at the same time our um, dance move was like bending one one you know like the one leg and then the other leg like I can't show it with my arms but yeah um, you get what I'm saying and I'm sure the video will help but that is what I did and while doing that I dislocated my right knee or the patella dislocated I'm going to put in a picture so if you don't want to see how it looks it's not my knee obviously I wouldn't lay there and take a picture of my knee but this is how a dislocated knee looks like or a dislocated patella it yeah I'll put up a picture so if you don't want to look don't watch okay so after that happened I fell to the floor I literally I was like on my side I was holding so let me move a little bit backwards I was like holding my uh, I'm in my pajama bottom anyways I was laying like this and I stretch up my knee I can't do it now obviously I'm gonna do it with this knee I was laying on the floor like this and I hold my knee just like this I was in so much pain and then my patella was obviously here on the side of my leg and then I was just laying there in agony in the worst worst pain ever I cannot describe it was like all the nerves all the all the tension of your body just goes to that knee and like I, th I thought I was going to die because I couldn't handle the pain I was yeah anyways they called the ambulance immediately they were there like within like I would say between 15 and 20 minutes so I was laying there literally like crying my eyes out the people at the dance studio was actually like amazing because they yeah they helped me they helped call me anyways the oh anyways the ambulance people that came in they immediately gave me a drip in my hand here they gave me pain painkillers and then they told me they need to put me under anesthetics i think that's how you say it and because they need to do that in order to get my legs straight and put my patella my kneecap back into place and yeah that happened they put me out right there in the studio then i yeah i was gone throughout that procedure so thankfully for that and then also while everything was like they were looking at me and everything at the dance studio i managed to get hold of tina and ricardo which is my yeah i say they're my godparents because they were here when they broke into my apartment and they yeah they were there for me that day but yeah they managed to get a hold i think someone at the from the dance um, center spoke to them and then they went to the hospital where the ambulance took me but anyways when I woke up I was super high I was so like disorientated I was speaking Afrikaans on my English I forgot it I was just speaking Afrikaans to everyone at least they could understand because the 
the thing that I remember I said was um, can I glue it? Like, can I walk? Like, I was so afraid of not being able to walk. And then also one thing that I want to say is when it happened, I, like, I, I don't know injuries like this. Like, I never even knew that you can dislocate your knee. Like, I, I didn't know. So when I was laying there, my patel or my kneecap was on the side. I was just like, what the hell is going on with my knee? I thought I broke it. I thought I, you know, so... I was just so worried that I cannot walk so or and then I was also asking is my knee back like you know anyway so I ended up going to the hospital they took x-rays just to see if there were any fractures luckily there weren't any like that's the first great thing that I yeah happened and um, from this entire injury or accident whatever you want to call it and then the garden Tina came they were at least they just supporting me they gave me some more pain medicine um yeah they gave me needle in my tummy and then i yeah they did some um movements with my knee just to see whether or not you know they tested it for some other stuff anyway they gave me a brace i will put a picture to show exactly what it looked like i also took a video and um, it was in that for an entire week, I was bedridden, literally on my bed or here on my couch, leg in the air. The swelling was horrible. You can see by this picture, this is what it looked like the day after when I iced it for the first time. So it was, it was horrible. And because of all the swelling, it was pushing everything in my knee. So it was very tender, very sore, like, like it was the worst pain I've ever been in. Um, so yes, so for a week I was bedridden, just laid down. I was not allowed to put any weight on it, nothing. So that was quite hard on me. It was tough just, you know, just being here for a week in my apartment, not going out. Tina and Ricardo was amazing because they came, they took out my garbage, they went food shopping for me twice. They, you know, they just came um, over the weekend just to, you know, chat with me. So I really, really appreciated that. Obviously, there's a lot of people that help me or are still helping me through this entire process. But like my mother, like she called me like every 10, 10 minutes. My younger sister, she was like, yeah, you know, like people were just like checking in with me to make sure I was okay because I was very emotional. Like even yesterday evening, which is now like a week afterwards, like I was, I was still crying. I don't know. And I can probably just start crying again now. It's, it's so emotional just knowing how quickly life can change and then actually going through that change. Like, I just cried everything. I, like, I'm a, I'm a lot better, but anyways, like, it's, it's very emotional. And I know I'll still have days where, you know, I will cry and I will be sad about this entire thing, where I will be in pain and whatever but um in saying that oh then also one of my other friends was on i need to yeah just say thank you because she literally she called me like three times a day checking and keeping my mental and how like just kept me like positive and wow well, like i really like she knows how much i appreciated that like anyways so people definitely my close people close to me really really helped me through like my first week and they were still helping me um so what else then i went to see the physio on tuesday morning oh no 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 i went to the hospital on tuesday morning they took off the brace my leg was there was nothing my entire leg was numb i couldn't lift my leg i couldn't i didn't have any any strength in my leg and it like literally scared the shit out of me like i couldn't lift my leg at all so my knee was still swollen they gave me a let me try to show you now without hurting myself i don't know if it's gonna be possible ah they gave me this thing i don't know i don't know the terms of everything but this i'm just gonna call it a whatever but they gave me this to put on it's very very tight it keeps my knee stable and um, anyways like obviously now i can like lift my knee like my leg like this i couldn't do this at all but anyway so i went to the hospital they gave me this they gave me a list of physios i made an appointment at the physio i got one straight away the next day and then um 
I, yeah, met the guy, he is lovely, super like, how can I say it, like careful and you know, just like soft with me because I, I was so scared. Like I think everything, everyone that worked with me on my knee, like I would cry every time. Like I'm, I'm scared as hell. I am such a pussy when it comes to getting like injuries or needles. Like I cry every time I get a needle, I will cry. I will, like I am, I'm so scared of hurting and going through this like at every person i would just like please please you know just be careful like I, it's sore like i'm hurting like don't make it worse or whatever and he was so gentle with me but i went for my first physio we started with um bending the knee and i will my next video i will go get more into like the recovery of everything i just want this video to explain exactly what happened and um yes now you can see i'm better i can say one thing here that i i am clear to put weight on my leg obviously can't walk yet that will still be a while but yeah it's still it's still painful like yesterday i was in agony I was, it was so painful i had an emotional day again yesterday and that's a week after um being bedridden so i've been through the bedridden week where i was just like you know not doing anything and i've almost been through a week of being without my brace so that's where i am now i've been at one physio i'm going again on monday okay so that is what happened with my knee and i wanted to make this video i hope someone out there if it like obviously i hope it doesn't happen with any, any anyone but if this video can be helpful with someone going through the same thing i mean i hope it helps so my videos going forward obviously i can stand and walk and film myself and vlog and go do outrageous stuff i cannot do that i am on crutches obviously and then also i can't walk far i can't you know like my my life is a little bit different now so my future videos will be about my recovery i want to one day look back at this because this is really like i would say like it's it's really taken me back it's really I don't know it just with regards to everything like I just started being healthy and doing exercises again and you know being active and now this happens and yesterday it was it was a shit day because I was just like why again why because I moved to the Netherlands at the beginning or the end of last year basically January this year and like a lot of things have happened like i'm the happiest i've ever been i'm living a blessed life which i'm so thankful for but there's still shitty stuff happening and i know it's life i know you know it happens to everyone i know but i think yeah i'm just working through that emotions of you know my life is different now it's going to be different probably for the rest of my life i would need to look after this knee because future dislocations there's, it, there's a high risk for it, my physio said, because I'm a young woman. Um, but he's going to make sure it won't happen. So I'm going to work hard at it. But anyways, what I wanted to say is just that my future videos will be different. It's my recovery. I'm, I want to get strong. I can't go running. I can't go dancing now. But I'm going to do different exercises. I'm going to work on the abs, which I don't have any of. I'm going to, you know, work on my upper legs, getting strength in there. I'm just going to have different videos. Obviously, I'm going to also try doing videos about my work. There's a lot of people just wanting to, to know more about chartered accountancy. So the videos will be a little bit different. So yes, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you are having a great time wherever you are. Yeah, use your leg, go for a walk, go for a run, do whatever you like with your body because things can yeah change in a split second. Don't, you know... Don't mope around about your body. Just enjoy your body. Be thankful that it's working like it should. And yeah, just be grateful that you are healthy and just all of that. Because that's one thing I've realized is health and the state of your body is key. So I hope you enjoyed it. And then I will see you next week with a new video. Bye-bye. Let me quickly show you what I look like. So... This is my crutches. Let me move this chair. Okay. So this is what I currently
currently look like this is my crutches and this is the leg that is yeah you can see but you can see I've got strength in it you know the part that's really sore is the inside because of the patella moving to the side it everything stretched here but anyways I just wanted to show what it looked like but I'm going to get ready for my day now it is a Saturday and I am going out to a bride tonight which you know is a good thing so anyways Bye-bye.